If you have not yet focused the green lens, these help menus may be difficult to read. To focus, loosen the rear wing nut on the green lens and rotate the barrel to focus the help menu. Now, we'll go through some of the help highlights. From the opening menu, all you have to do is press the appropriate button to select the area of help you want. 1. How to use the help system. 2. Test pattern selection shows you the available test patterns and how to access them. 3. System setup menu. We'll return to this for help in focusing and registration. 4. Remote control summary providing additional information on all the function buttons. 5. Operation menu summarizing all operational items. 6. Preventive maintenance chapter guidelines for periodic maintenance. 7. The help screen adjustment page allows you to adjust the help screen channel parameters such as brightness, contrast and sizing as well as master geometry settings to make the help screens easier to read. Depending on which area of the help system you're in, the screen will instruct you as to your choices. Selecting a number or using the arrow keys for more information to enable the function or to leave the help mode. The Esprit internal help system is a powerful tool to help you follow procedures step by step. To begin your setup, Press 3 for the System Setup menu. Now press 1 for the Guided Setup menu. Then follow the Guided Setup introduction. The Guided Setup programs are designed to guide you through the registration procedure for this system. The programs will automatically select the adjustments in their proper sequence and display the selected adjustment on the remote LCD. The proper test pattern for each adjustment will be selected and, if applicable, the critical area of adjustment will be highlighted. The registration settings are stored into individual channel locations. Prior to entering the guided setup programs, the following conditions must be set. 1. Ensure you have established or selected a channel location. 2. Select the desired mode of operation for that channel, for example, RGB or video. 3. Have an active source applied to the appropriate slot, input card, or select a desired internal test frequency. 4. Be in the appropriate channel when help was activated. If the above conditions have not been met, please exit the help system and establish or select a channel. If the above conditions have been met, please continue to the next page by pressing the right arrow key. This will take you to the second screen of the Guided Setup Introduction. Once active, the Guided Setup programs automatically default to the internal test, external sync mode of operation, meaning that the system will internally generate the required test patterns, horizontally and vertically synchronized or locked, to the external source that was active at the time help was initiated. Note 1. Prior to entering the guided setup mode, ensure you have selected a desired channel location, selected a mode of operation, and that an active source is applied, or select an internal test frequency. Note 2. Please note the functional change of the following keys while in the guided setup programs. Step advances to the next alignment function pattern. Test reverses to previous alignment function pattern. Help enters or exits context help of active function if available. Code exits guided setup mode of operation. Arrow keys perform adjustment of the active function. Please note the directional arrows at the bottom of the screen. These arrows control page changes except during the complete guided setup when they control the active function. But before we begin the complete guided setup, push the right arrow key and advance to an overview of the various setup programs. 
please select one of the following programs or exit at this time. 1. Select Complete Guided Setup Program. This includes both mechanical setup procedures and dynamic convergence procedures. This is necessary when there has been a change of image size or projection angle. 2. Select Touch-Up Guided Setup Program. This program bypasses mechanical setup procedures going straight to the dynamic convergence procedures. 3. Select Touch-Up Guided Red to Green, then Blue to Red. 4. Select Touch-Up Guided Blue to Red. 5. Exit this page and return to the System Setup menu. Select 1 to enter the complete guided setup. The next procedure will be to focus the lenses. However, it can be difficult to set barrel focus if brightness or contrast are too high. We suggest setting the brightness to 69% using the Bright button and the appropriate directional arrow. Set contrast to 65% using the Contrast button and the directional arrows. Once brightness and contrast are adjusted, press Clear to continue. Lens focusing involves two sets of adjustments, the wing nuts on the lens barrel mounts and the three hex adjustment screws at the base of each lens. Standard lenses have two barrel adjustments, the center focus and the edge focus adjustments. These barrel adjustments, as well as the initial focus operations on the green lens, will provide a point on which all other focus adjustments are based. To adjust the green barrel, loosen the wing nuts and rotate the barrel to optimize the full screen focus pattern. Press Step. The next step in lens focusing and positioning is to tighten the three 3 16 hex adjustment screws on the green lens. Then turn each screw three quarters of a turn counterclockwise. Loosen the rear center focus wing nut slightly and adjust the lens barrel until the proper quadrant of the projected image is focused refer to the Lens Focus Adjustment Reference Table in Chapter 8. We're working on a table-mounted front projection unit, so we're focusing the upper left-hand corner of the grid. You may be required to go back and forth between the center and edge adjustments. Tighten the wing nuts when focus is set. Press Step. The next step involves the lens adjustment screws on the green lens only. Adjust the upper left adjustment screw until the lower left corner of the image is focused. Repeat the barrel focus procedure if necessary at this time. Press Step. Now, adjust the lower right adjustment screw to refine side-to-side -side focus. The green image should now be optimized. Now press Step bringing up the full screen red focus pattern. Repeating the process used to adjust the green barrel, loosen the wing nuts and rotate the barrels to optimize the full screen red focus pattern. Press Step. And again, loosen the wing nuts and rotate the barrels to optimize the full screen blue focus pattern. Press Step to bring up the initial lens positioning instruction screen. Please read the entire page before continuing the setup. Step 1. Using the numeric keypad, press 55, then the code button. Note, this step is not required while we are in the guided registration program. Step 2. Loosen the two hex head screws located directly behind the red lens assembly on the black heat sink. Step 3. Carefully swing the lens CRT assembly in or out until the red vertical line exactly overlays the green vertical line. Concentrate on the center of the vertical lines. Press Step for the alignment page. After completing the adjustment, press Test for this instruction page. Step 4. Once the lens is in the proper position, tighten the two hex head screws. Step 5. The next alignment page is the red vertical shift, RVS. Using the arrow keys, adjust the red center horizontal line until it overlays the center horizontal line of the green image. Press Step twice for the alignment page. Let's begin the initial lens positioning by pressing the Step button.